Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to replace Welsh plugs in a carburetor. And I've got a carburetor here that comes from a Tecumseh engine, just like you'll find on these engines over here. And to start with, this carburetor has a Welsh plug when you remove the float bowl and the float itself. And there is also another Welsh plug on the side of the carb right here. This one's a bit more flat. Now the best way I find to replace Welsh plugs is to have the carburetor nice and secure in a vise like this. And what I have here is a small starter punch. And I also have my drill with a 3 32nd drill bit. Now depending on the carburetors you work on, you might need a smaller drill bit or a larger drill bit. However, for today, this is the right size for this Welsh plug over here. Now to get started, I'm just going to punch it over here lightly. This is just to start the drill bit. After you have your mark like this, just grab your drill bit and drill right through. Now if your starter punch is small like mine, you can use it to remove the Welsh plug. If not, you can use a screw, a nail, or an awl. All I'm going to do is insert it in there and pry. And you can also punch it in with the hammer as well if you can't get it in by hand. And then you just simply pry up. So this one here came out extremely easy. Now you can see where my drill bit hit inside but it did not cause any damage. On these Tecumseh carburetors there's a nice big hole underneath the Welsh plug so you're not likely to cause any damage under there. And now to do the plug on the side just simply flip the carb over. Now just repeat the process over here with the starter punch. I'm just going to punch a small indent and drill like you did on the previous Welsh plug. Now be careful on this side because the hole isn't as deep underneath so drill lightly. And now just blow the shavings off. And again my starter punch is small enough to fit in the hole and that hole was a 3 32nd. Now I'm just going to pry it. And there we go. Now don't pry too hard on the starter punch because you can bend it a bit. And now you can see the hole underneath and there's a small air hole under there. Now the purpose of replacing Welsh plugs sometimes is to unplug these tiny holes underneath. But I like to replace them when they're getting rusty like this. When I rebuild the carburetor, if they're nice and clean though, I don't bother replacing them. And for example, this is one small hole you want to make sure is clean when you replace the Welsh plug. And sometimes there'll be multiple holes like I'm showing you right here. So depending what you're working on, just double check, make sure they're clean. You can spray some carb cleaner in there as well. So basically these are the main reasons why I replace Welsh plugs. And now to replace the Welsh plug, just grab the proper plug for your carb, insert it where the old one was. Now what I use is a pin punch like this. This one's fairly big, I believe it's a 3 8 And I'll make sure your carb is nice and secure in that vise. And with the punch, just tap it in with your hammer. And you want to tap it until the Welsh plug is a bit flatter and tight in the hole. As you tap it, it will expand and tighten itself up. You do not need any glue. And now the Welsh plug on the side of the carb is fully installed. This will never come off and it's nice and sealed as well. And now just repeat the same procedure for the other Welsh plug. And that's all there is to installing Welsh plugs on these Tecumseh carburetors. Again, it's going to be the same principle on many other carburetors. Once you've got them installed, you just want to double check again to make sure they're nice and tight. I did not tap this in as much as the one on the side here. This one previously was nice and flat, so I put it back the same way. And this one here was just banged in like this one is, maybe a bit less actually. But as long as it's nice and tight, you're good to go. And again, once you have the Welsh plugs out, you want to make sure you clean any passages that you find underneath them. So it's that easy, guys, to install new Welsh plugs in your carburetor. The greatest tip I can give you for this repair today is when you're drilling through the Welsh plug, you just want to drill lightly with the drill bit so that when you go through, you're not going to damage the carb underneath. So thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have yourselves a great day.